I've got another app showcase to show you guys today. Let's go ahead and start right in with AquaZen. This gives you a 3D aquarium effect, so we'll take a look at what this looks like. We'll start with Spatial Aquarium. And here we have fishies just all over our space in 3D. It's pretty cool. You can turn on all sorts of fish. And let's see what happens if we turn on every single fish and see if the hardware can handle this. And then I can close this up. And now we've got fishies everywhere. And this is pretty cool. I love when developers kind of take these, in a sense, simple concepts and just execute really well. The fish models all look really nice. You can't interact with the fish, so I'm hoping maybe in a future update, but hand occlusion works eh, decently. There we go, that's pretty good. And what we can also do, turn off Spatial Aquarium and turn on 360 Aquarium. And we can choose an environment. Here we can see a few. And now we're in a real ocean environment. Pretty cool. And there's our fish. And again, I can add all sorts of fish and change the environment. That is AquaZen. Now I want to revisit Botanical, which I've shown you briefly before. Now I actually figured it out. I think I had a little bug issue before. With Botanical, we can go ahead and just start bringing lots of different plants into our environment. And okay, you get the point. Now as we walk around, we can see all of our plants in front of us. I've noticed that sometimes plants will go a little bit transparent, but when I get close to them, they become more opaque. And if you want to have a bunch of plants around while you're doing something else, they will stay open. So for example, if I want to just browse Reddit or something, I can go ahead and see this and have all the plants hanging out right here. So that is botanical. Next up, we have Black Box. Black Box is a puzzle game that uses all of your surroundings and body and audio, and you have to try to uh, solve puzzles. So each of these bubbles here is a puzzle that I've already solved, except for this one, which I'm stuck on. But for example, if I look at this one here and tap it, this is a puzzle. And it took me a while to figure out because I would try to touch it, but it goes further away as it comes closer. And then I realized as I bounce, there we go, that's all I had to do. And then to collect it, that is now my bubble. And then one more, for example, I think this one, as I was trying to figure out, okay, do I touch it? No. And then I realized as I talk, it actually moves. Oh, and that's it, collected. So there's all sorts of weird 3D puzzles like this. Here's the one that I'm stuck on. If somebody in the comments knows this game and wants to tell me how to solve this, that would be great. But I've been walking around trying to figure out what to do and I just don't know. So yeah, can't figure this one out. And I can even pop little bubbles here. So that's fun. I think I have a lot more puzzles to solve and uh, I have to figure this out first. Next up, we've got Share Spatial. This is another one of these kind of new social media type apps trying to take advantage of uh, the 3D and spatial video and pictures on Vision Pro. So we can see we have images and videos. And if I just choose a random video, I'm transported into really more of a 180 video. And this is some AI generated 3D effect, which actually looks pretty cool. And it's a pretty quick uh, interface. Like I'm, I'm liking, here's a picture. So we have a quick little intro. And now I have this beautiful panorama. And these look just as good, if not better, than the panoramas that I have on my own device. So this is pretty cool, just being able to uh, browse these different images and videos. And let's actually do one more video. Let's 
and here we go. So again, looks like a normal spatial video that I might have on uh, my own device. Loads pretty quickly. Can't tell if there's any real streaming artifacts. It looks pretty nice. So that is share spatial. Next up, we've got Sizzly. This is one of those little like particle playground type apps. And here we have all sorts of little particle effects and we can drag and move them across the room. And I can even fling it out. It goes really far away. I really like the fireworks here. If I go nice and slowly and let go and bring it right in front of me here, it actually does some hand tracking too if I push through. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a couple more effects that I like. Got some kind of fireworks here, again with the hand tracking. So this is a fun one just to uh, play around with a little bit. Next up, Voyager, which is actually kind of a flight tracking app. Here we're looking at Denver International Airport and it shows you a nice 3D model of different planes coming in and out of Denver. So we can look at this plane, for example, and see, okay, United 2613, and see live views, altitude. I can go ahead and see this plane landing here. And again, watch as it's coming down. And I like that this one, I can easily just walk around and get really close and see these different planes. So any of you uh, flight tracking nerds out there might really like this one. Last one I'll show is Art Authority Museum. Here they have an opening message saying they're kind of finishing up the app and this is kind of an intro here, but if you go to the lobby, we are brought into an art gallery. And this one is pretty cool. There's a little play button here and it actually moves me to each piece. Now, I really wish I could be a little bit closer I wish I could control more where I'm going. It kind of brings you through this slideshow. It can be a little nauseating if you're not used to VR since you're kind of moving and not controlling where you're going. But if I like a painting here, I can go ahead and pause it and then look at the painting. And that's all I got for today. If there's any other apps that you guys want to see, let me know in the comments and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.